Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl coming at you from DirectionToSuccess.com. Guess what? We are going to talk about the mission and events section element in the Jack Oliver theme. So this is if you're running eStage on your WordPress website, you have to be using the Jack Oliver template. This is great. This is an element that's going to display your mission statement for your website. And to the right of that, if you have any upcoming events, it will also show those. So this is definitely an element you put on your home page. It's great. It formats beautifully. And like as usual, when using any of these Jack Oliver elements, sorry, most of all the formatting, all the beauty is already built in. You don't even have to worry about it. It's just a few lines of text you enter, a couple settings, right? Bada bing, bada boom, and it's done. Anyways, sorry I digress as usual. So let's get into this. I'm going to take you over to my computer screen and lo and behold, guess what we're looking at? WordPress dashboard. Huh, this is a first for me. Sorry for the bad jokes. <laughs> it's late and sort of getting antsy. But anyhow, Look, what we're going to do real quick, I'm going to just try to create a mission statement and we're going to try to set up some events and we're going to look at what, you know, then we're going to check out the page and see what it looks like. So, like I said, the element we're using today is the mission and events section. So, we're going to click on that. And all we have, obviously, are the two sections here the mission section and the events section. And by the way, you don't have to use the events section. When we get into that, I'm gonna show you where that where you can turn that on and off. So the title here will appear above your mission statement. Something like, I don't know, this is what I do. Um, forgive me, I, I'm kind of put on the spot here. Uh, my mission is to help show you the direction to success. And paragraph two, how are we going to do that? I'm going to do this any way I know how. Um, obviously, you're going to write a little bit more when you actually do this. But these really aren't paragraphs. They're about two sentences, maybe three sentences at the most. So they're very short. You know, obviously, I'm lacking here in the with the, my mission tonight. But this is what we're going to have to live with. Okay, so that's the mission done we're all set and if you have if you want to display upcoming events we're going to move over to this tab and i'm going to show you how to do that so the first and this is selected by default the, but the most important thing if you want to show upcoming events you just select yes if you don't want to see them you want to say no so even if you you know you're doing a mission statement and you don't ever want to have events show up you've got to make sure you come over to here and select no but we're going to leave this as yes and then this title will appear above your events so you could probably say something like up coming events something like that right that makes sense and that's it for the element and i forgot to mention there's actually two parts to this okay the first part we just did we just you know we just set up the element that that you're placing on your web page the other place where all the work gets done is called eStage events and i'm going to take you to those right now i should have kind of laid all this out for you at the beginning but i hope you can follow this so we have the element right the mission and events statement element and um then we have our events section. So when you go over to WordPress, all the red menus here are part of the eStage theme. So we can come all the way down to the bottom 
And this is where we're going to have to write a page for each event, right? And they're all stored right here. So if I go into all new events, oops, oh yeah, it caught me. I do that a lot. I don't know about you guys. That's a lifesaver, leaving a page and not saving it. It's like, imagine that, doing all that work and losing it. So I come in here and obviously you can see there's no event set up for me. So I'm going to create one. So we're going to go to the top, add new event. Um, let's see, live webinar. Um, I don't know, on getting traffic. Here you, okay, so that's just going to be the title. And here you're going to write a short description. Um, do you ever, no, let's see. Do you want to know where you can find good quality traffic? You know, trust me, you can, uh, okay, you can be <laughs> getting conversion rates as high as 100%. I believe every word of that. Okay, so you're obviously, you know, in all seriousness, you're just gonna write a little brief description on what the webinar is about. And over to the right, we can select a feature image and I will pick the live webinar, this live webinar. We'll add that image. And there's only, I think, I believe two more things to add. So we did a title, we did an uh, event description, and we added an image for a description. We're going to come down near the bottom of the page. And here we're going to, obviously, we need to tell them the, the time and the location. So we're going to say April, I don't know, 26th at, we're going to do like 9 p.m. Eastern Time. How's that? A location? Uh, my, you, my YouTube channel. There you go. And that's it. All we have to do is publish and our event is done. So we've added one event. So like I said, going back in the East stage and I don't know if I went too fast before. So you, oh, I'm over here in the left on the, navi uh, on the navigation menu. So on the East stage section, right, we're going to go to events. So East stage events. And here you can see there's the event we just added, right? So at the top, we can click on the add new button. And since we're here, why don't we do that? Um, we can also say something like, you know, what about another webinar? Webinar, oops. Webinar. How to get lots and lots of no oh we'll do this um what about this hold on a second webinar um create amazing emails every one oops every one will open and read them okay and we're going to select our image and i'll pick this image here so we're going to come down so image down the bottom of the page so we're going to enter our time. So 
So April 27th, we're going to say something like it's 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Location, Zoom, Hangout. Go up. So see, there isn't much to it. All right, so we're gonna hit publish. So we just did two events. We set our mission statement. So we're going to pages, and we're just gonna have a look in here at the page. So this is this is the element we're we're talking about. So we remember previously we just added the element, right? The mission and events section element. We went over into the East Age section and just created two brand new events. So we're going to hit preview changes. And you can see here's our mission statement right down here. This is what I do. My mission is to help show you the direction to success. You can see how small the area is, right? So there's not too. So that's what I was saying. You're probably going to do two sentences, three might be a little bit too much so these are our two events we have here right so that's pretty cool so here's our little title we wrote back on our page right live webinar on getting traffic and here's your time look at that pretty orange i love it you know and location where my youtube channel all right so here's the other one so isn't that nice that's just great so obviously when you're done you know that events passed you just go delete that page and then that's it it'll be gone this will automatically update so again this is something right on your home page this section you never have to touch again it just it's just done so if you have a new event coming up you go back into the email events section i'm sorry into the e-stage events section and just type in and you know create a new event page fill it out and that's it it's i love it i love when stuff works like that so once again i want to thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video this probably went a little too long sorry i, I didn't remind you to go get a snack but maybe on the next video um listen if you have any questions on any of the elements i've been showing you any of the elements that come with jack oliver theme E-Stage, WordPress, leave some comments below. Thank you very much.